As we begin our journey into Jewish history, we have to first appreciate a very important philosophical point, a hashkafic point, which is the Jewish world for worldview. This was best stated by a great 13th century rabbi from Spain. His name was Nachmanides, or the Ramban. In his famous, very profound commentary on the book of Genesis, he lays out a principle which is absolutely fundamental to how we understand Jewish history and how we use the Bible as a guidebook, as the playbook for all the rest of Jewish history and all of human history. He says, Maseh avot siman nabanim, that the actions of the fathers are assigned to the children. That that which happens in the beginning of the narrative of Jewish history, which is basically the book of Genesis and maybe a little bit of the book of Exodus, is the revealed pattern for everything that comes later. You know, George Santayana said it the best. He said, those who don't learn from the past are destined to repeat it. King Solomon, who was wisest of all men, said thousands of years ago a similar statement. He said, there's nothing new under the sun. Ein chadash tachat Hashemesh. So when we're looking at early Jewish history, it is vital to focus on the people, their personalities, and the events, because that will lay out the model, the playbook, the patterns that will reverberate throughout history, because there is nothing new there. And by learning from those events in the past, we can avoid lots of repetition and stupid mistakes that we've tended to make throughout history over and over again. Based on that idea, if you want to understand this concept, to begin with, we have to study Abraham because he is Abraham and Sarah. They are, their mission is the Jewish people's mission. Their personality will become the collective national personality of the Jewish people. If you want to understand the relationship between Jews and non-Jews, just look at the story of Isaac and the Philistines or the Jews in Egypt to understand that crazy roller coaster ride where the non-Jewish world pulls us towards and pushes us away. Everything that we see in the past will repeat itself over and over again. Look at Joseph and his brothers. The jealousy and the rivalry explain so much about the infighting and the fractiousness of the Jewish people until today. And if the actions of the fathers are assigned to the children, and we understand, by the way, that the Bible is not a history book. It contains history, but there are huge gaps. It's not a book of Jewish law. It mentions law, but we don't use it as a guidebook for law. It's not even a book of Jewish culture. The Bible is to teach us hashkafa, our worldview, the playbook. And if we understand that the actions of the fathers are assigned to the children, and the Bible is the playbook, and that Abraham is the model, the paradigm, and the early lives are the model for everything that comes later, then that which is said and that which happens in the beginning is most important to focus on. And if we just look for a minute or two at the first few sentences, at the beginning of Genesis, when Abraham first appears in Ur, going back 3,700 years ago, we get tremendous insights with the broadest brushstrokes of the major rules of what will Jewish history be about. God says to Abraham, go from your land, from your hometown. Go to the land I'll show you. He tells Abraham to completely separate himself, not just from his father's home, from his hometown, but from his country. Lesson number one we're being taught as Jews is that it's our role in history to go in a completely separate direction. We are going to be, in the words of the famous non-Jewish prophet Bilam in the Bible, a nation that dwells alone, following a different course than anyone else. He then tells Abraham, don't just leave your hometown and go wherever you like. Go to the land of Israel. Huge pattern number two, that we're given a specific homeland as the unique place where we can actualize our potential and ultimately the place that all Jews will have to end up back in. He then says, I will make you into a nation. We understand that because God is directly interacting with Jewish history, that things will happen to the Jewish people that don't happen to anyone else. Jewish history is one giant collection of weird and even supernatural phenomenon. As David Ben-Gurion, the first prime minister of Israel said, a Jew doesn't believe in miracles is not a realist because what is normal for us is completely abnormal for the rest of the human race. Then he says, and I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. Here we see another huge pattern laid out that nations and, and peoples that are good to us will do well and that those that are bad to us will suffer. And then often the nations that are the best to us end up being the worst to us. But that you can literally chart the rise and fall of civilizations by how they will treat their Jewish people. And finally, God says to Abraham, through you, all the communities of the earth will be blessed. And that is an amazing point, that the Jewish people, despite their microscopically small size, and having come up against the greatest continuous hatred in human history, will not only outlast those people who tried to destroy them, but despite the teeny tiny size and being so hated, will have a monumentally transformative impact on the entire human race. 
And this is critical because as we learn the early narrative of the Bible, we have to understand that all the patterns are laid out there, that the actions of the fathers are assigned to the children, and the key to navigating through Jewish history and to getting to the end of this story, which is the ultimate story, is to learn those lessons from the past and act on them. To stay up to date with JTV content, click subscribe here if you're on YouTube and hit the alarm bell. And if you're on Facebook, hit the like button and under following, click see first. If you enjoy watching JTV content and want to help us continue to grow, please consider making a donation to us by clicking here.